Hi everybody, Dave Weiss here again for the Glue Bomb Show. Now how many of you know sometimes you hit a snag point with a model? Right, you get a point where you can't really go any further with it, you're struggling, and so it's time to put it aside for a while. Well, I ran into that. I have this kit that I got. I found it at my local Ollie's. Uh, it was, I found it a couple years ago. It is a 1 8 scale street rod. This one is called the Hot Canary T. Now, I was going gangbusters with it for a while. It's got front end steering, the whole thing. It's really cool. But I got to the place where I wire it to wire the engine and I discovered that it wasn't going to work quite the way I had hoped. And so I decided that I was going to try and drill it out a little bit and use some actual real wire and some other things to kind of make it work a little better than what was working in the kit itself. And I got stuck because I didn't have quite the proper tools. And so I put it aside. Now here's the thing. Sometimes when you put a kit aside, it sits for a while. This one's been sitting for probably a year. And the reason it's been sitting again is that wiring issue, but something happened the other day. I noticed when I looked at it that the front wheel had come off. Now this thing is huge, okay? I'm not even going to be able to show you the whole thing in screen, but there's the front wheels, okay? Front wheels, back wheels, front end steering. It's a nice kit. I mean, there's a lot of good stuff to this kit, but there's a problem, and you might be seeing it as you're looking here. This is a street rod. This is a street rod with a lot, a lot of chrome. And it's mainly structural pieces that are chrome. Now, I've done a piece in the past, a clip in the past, about working with chrome. And the basic idea is you've got to strip the chrome off to get it to stick. Well, on some of these things, it's really hard to do that. Like, on this particular kit, the wheels are put onto the brake drums. And the brake drums are also chrome. Now, you don't want to strip that chrome away on the brake drums because it makes it look really cool. So, I asked a friend, my friend Ken, who seems to be the great uh, source for all my wisdom right now. And I said, is there anything that just glues chrome to chrome? And he said, yes, there is. It's this stuff. E6000. Now, this particular one... You know, it's because I've used E6000 before on other things, never on a model, because usually they have this, this thing that comes out, it's like a quarter inch, maybe a little less than a quarter inch, and so you get a big glob of glue when you come out. But I found some, and he, Ken told me about this, that there's one that they actually have a small nozzle where you can get a smaller amount of glue out. Now, I, I want to warn you about a couple things. Number one, it says here, that this fumes as a cancer agent. So make sure you're not inhaling this stuff, okay? This is rough. <laughs> it's tough stuff. However, I glued the front wheel, and I've only glued it like a couple seconds ago, a couple minutes ago maybe, and it's already stuck. And I'm really happy with that. As a matter of fact, I'm so happy with that, I'm thinking about removing the rest of the wheels and using this. Now, he does tell me, that if you get too much on, you can wait till it semi-hardens and peel some of it off. I haven't had that problem, but I've only used it on one wheel so far. I get the idea that this isn't actually recommended for models. As a matter of fact, the packaging didn't even say plastic is one of the things it works on. However, it is working. Again, please, all right? I don't get paid for these endorsements. Neither do I call myself an expert, all right? I just try to show you things that worked for me. So, before you go using this on something that is really important to you, use it on a small piece somewhere that's hidden in case it doesn't work for you. All right? Please don't come to me and say, Dave, you ruined my model. That's not what this is about. I'm showing you something that worked in my little model room. Okay? So, Give E6000 a try, if you're, especially if you're doing things that require a lot of chrome. Because sometimes you don't want to strip all that chrome away. This seems to be working. I'll let you know if something changes. All right? Take care, guys. Have a great day.